how to add footnotes in Adobe InDesign. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. If you've got some text in Adobe InDesign, you want to add some footnotes for some references, we can go ahead and we're going to do that. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You can also define all the properties of your footnotes. So let's jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have an open canvas and you want to make sure that you have some text on your open canvas. Now you can do that just by going over to the left hand side, you will see that there is a text or a type tool. You can go ahead there and you will click down, drag and release your mouse button and you will have a text box. You can either type, you can paste text in there as well and you will get to the state that we're at now. So we wanna add some footnotes, we're gonna go ahead. The first thing we wanna do is select the area that we want to reference in our footnote. So let's just say at the end of this paragraph, we're gonna double click and there is where the cursor is and that's where we will be typing over here. So we are now gonna go up into our toolbar on the top of the page and we're going to look for type and once we're in type, we're going to go all the way down and there is a very clear option that says insert footnote. Now you can see that there is some hypertext over here, just where we created that footnote. And on the bottom over here, you can see that there is a one. And this is where your footnote is actually going to be set. So this is where the reference information is going to be put. So now we can go ahead and we can add footnotes wherever we'd like. Let's say we'd like to add another one over here. We're going to just go ahead and tap on type on the top toolbar. We're going to go down and we're going to look again for that insert footnote. And you can see that there is another footnote over here. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that in your footnotes that you're actually typing out the reference information or a reference point for your footnote. So I've now typed out what I need and now we can go up and we can start defining all the properties of the footnote. We're going to jump now into the toolbar again at the top and we're going to look for type again and we're going to come down and just under that insert footnote option there is a document footnote options and we're going to go ahead we're going to open that up. Now you can see over here that you can change the numbering and the formatting and then we also have some layout options. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is under the numbering you can change the style of the numbering. So as you can see over here there are a bunch of different styles in terms of how you can actually number your footnotes and then you can also change the number that it actually starts at. So if you want to perhaps make the starting number 27 we can go ahead and we can make that 27. One of the other things that you you should probably have on is the preview button over here so you want to make sure that this is enabled so as you're making those changes the changes are actually coming up onto your document and you can see what it looks like you can also now go ahead you can restart your numbering on every different interval so we can say if you are putting footnotes on page one you can have one to five and then on page two you can say that you want to restart your numbering so it'll go ahead and start from number one again or whichever your starting number is here on page two. You can also have that on a spread and then also on a section. You can also just leave that as is and it'll just continuously create new numbers per footnote. You can also have the show prefix and suffix in footnote reference, the footnote text, and then you can have it both reference and text over here, and you can actually change them and redefine them right over here. We're going to leave that off for now. We're going to go down to the formatting. So you can now have a look. There is a footnote reference number in text, and this is now the actual footnote that is in the actual text and not at the bottom where your reference is. So you can see now that that's what it looks like and we can go ahead and we can position it differently. So either a superscript, a subscript, or you can just have it normal. So you can see that as you're changing that over there, it is making those changes. And then the character style. So if you say none, it's going to just continue to use the default character style that has been set by your document. If you want to go ahead now and you can click on new character style, you can now change the character style over here. So from general, basic, advanced, all the way to the color, the features, the underline options, the strike through options, and the export tagging. So there's a ton of options that you can choose right from over here. You can also change the name and you can also base it on and there will be some options over there once you start populating this. You can now tap on the apply style to selection. You can say, 
hit OK, and all of those changes now will be made. Going down now also there is a footnote formatting, and this is now the actual bottom part of your paragraph this is where the footnote will be changed so you can see here that it says paragraph style and it is basic paragraph we can change that to no paragraph as well and then there are also new paragraph styles which you can actually change again you have all of these options over here you can really go through and customize it to your needs we can see now also that there is a separator button so if we just go basic paragraph there there is a separator and over here you can see that you can have that separator that is the space between the number and then the text that you've put in there for the footnote so you can go ahead and you can tap on tab m space n space hair space and a thin space and of course that'll change all of these um, values over here and as you're going you will see that the changes are being made going now into the top of this page again we're going out of numbering and formatting when you go to layout here you can span the footnote across uh, different columns you can change the spacing options right over here you can also set the first baseline so if it's an offset uh, you can change it from accent to cap height to leading x height and fixed and then you can put a minimum value in over here you also have some placement options so you can place the end of story footnotes at the bottom of the text and then you can also allow split footnotes going down you have the rule above this is the first footnote in the column or the continued footnotes and you can leave this rule on or off and then you can change the actual properties of that footnote in each column so color the gap color the type the tint the gap tint the indent from the left the width as well as the offset and once you've made all of those changes you can go ahead and you can tap ok and now you will see that all of those changes will have been applied you can now see that these footnote references are in our paragraph and at the bottom over here you can see that our footnotes have actually been updated as we made those changes there we go folks if you're looking to add some footnotes into your documents or to your text in adobe indesign this is the best guide that you will find on the internet if you enjoy our content don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you in another awesome video cheers for now